Welcome back to Code with Django. For those of my viewers into Minecraft, you'll remember when Minecraft had something called AFK Fishing, where you could basically spam the right click button at a trapdoor or something like that. I never really tried this out myself, but the result was that after several hours, you can collect a lot of valuable items by AFK Fishing. And then you, most of you guys will remember that Minecraft got rid of that glitch. In this video, I'm going to show you how I brought back AFK Fishing using a Raspberry Pi, a servo motor, and a small microphone. Step one was obviously to assemble all the things I needed. Where the heck is it? Oh, here. That too. Next, configuring the hardware for the AFK fishing device. My favorite part, writing the program for the Raspberry Pi controlling the device. After I finished assembling the circuit and programming the Raspberry Pi, I 3D printed this flat piece for the mouse to sit on and this smaller piece for the servo motor to rest in. This is the base that I assembled for the AFK fishing. There's plenty of water so that the fish can even spawn in the first place, as well as hoppers so that if my inventory ever got full from all the unstackable items like lily pads and books, they would continue to be able to be collected and sent to my large chest in the back. I built this base ridiculously high into the air because, as you're about to see, the device I built relies heavily on a quiet environment, so I thought that putting it high in the air would reduce mob noises. But it turns out that in the settings you can actually turn off noises com coming from other mobs, so I kind of wasted all that effort. Here is the completed setup. I have my mouse and the servo motor, which will click the mouse over here. All that's connected to the Raspberry Pi, which is connected to this microphone, which is conveniently right next to my computer speakers and can hear loud noises. And why is it important for my servo to click my mouse whenever a loud noise is detected? Well, every single time a fish in Minecraft pulls on the line, it makes that noise. And that's the noise that I want this device to be looking for. So in theory it should work, let me snap my fingers. And you see that it casts and recasts the line. So now, let's go ahead and test this and see if we can catch some fish. So now, let's go ahead and test this and see if we can catch some fish. So why did I say let's catch some fish? Like, I, I am the only one in this room right now catching fish. Like, I built this. I'm working on this, what are you guys doing? After a few hours, this is what I was able to collect. The most important things to me are the enchanting books, the few tools that are left in here, and all the fish. Oh wait, hold on, lily pads are stackable. I don't know what I was thinking. You might be wondering, if the room that this device is in starts to get really loud, does that mean that this servo motor is just going to be constantly clicking the mouse to try to catch the fish? And the answer is no, because a part of the program that I put on the Raspberry Pi only triggers the servo if the noise it detects is above the average sound by a certain threshold. That way, this entire room could start to get really loud, and it's still going to be that spike in volume from the fish tugging on the line that's going to trigger this device. That's the end of this video. I really enjoyed this project, particularly just reviewing firmware programming on a Raspberry Pi. Make sure to check out the community section of this YouTube page because I'm going to be releasing some polls soon regarding ideas I have about future videos and I'd love to get your input. I'll see you in the next video.